What's up everyone? My name is Lisa for those of you that may not know. So uh, I moved to just pull a daily guidance. Wait. I'm going to, uh, this is the Mystic Shaman Oracle. We're going to read, read from the book about the card and then I'm going to just share a little bit channeled message as well as my experience. All right. Taming the wind. Wow. I'm hearing Guns N' Roses patience. Ooh, and it's a 55. Has anyone else been seeing fives and 55s and 555 five, five, and fives are about change? This is also about um, harnessing your spirit. Okay, let, let's see. I feel like it's like, like, yeah, taming the wind. It's like, it's like, um, let's, let's just, let's just read. I'm, I'm getting it like, like a whirlwind. If, if, if you're used to like a whirlwind, it's like learning to be that peace, even if the whirlwind's happening and just be the calm within the storm. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's see what else. And it's also like having patience. Did I say how I was hearing Guns N' Roses patience? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. The essence. Here the feather, a symbol that is used in clearing ceremonies for smudging, reminds you of the sacred commitment you make to your life. This is the symbol of consciously bringing the spiritual into the material, infusing the world with reverence and acknowledgement of the higher planes of existence that influence and, and animate all life. The feather is a symbolic reminder of deliberately entering into a partnership with the great spirit to co-create for the highest good of all. For the highest good of all. The invitation. It's time to clear your energy. Be present and become conscious of how you communicate. This is a good time to write in a journal and put your thoughts into cohesive form. Perhaps you need to actually do a smudging ceremony in your home or office, creating a sacred space to write your dreams and desires. Just remember that when taming the wind appears as a symbol, it is time to honor the great spirit with reverence and respect. The medicine. It's time to clean up any misunderstandings with others. Clear the air after disagreements and allow others to share their side of things. You are called now to be a good listener. This is not a time to be right. It's a time for you to understand rather than be understood. Good things come out of this restraint of tongue and pen. You will be surprised at how things get resolved when you allow for all sides to have value. Wow. I feel like there's a conversation about someone wants to speak and you might not like everything they have to say, but someone wants to have a conversation with you. Or maybe you're the one that needs to have this conversation with someone else, wanting to have this conversation with someone else to share your side. Like they said, your side of the story, it brings about a lot of change for both you and this other person, whomever you're, you're sharing this uh, conversation with, it, it's about really stepping into who you are. Cause it feels like someone has really been holding back, holding back their truth, their side of things. I feel like one person's outlook, it could have just, it could just be all wrong. But there's something here about like listening to what other people say. So I'm not sure if
there's, it feels like also an apology is due or is coming. Someone misjudged you. This is so... There's a song that it's 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 a country song and it's a new country song and it's about these people that break up and it's like somebody says the 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 line is if you keep if you stop spreading lies about me maybe I won't tell the truth about you so I feel like there's something being held back, but I feel like it's meant to be said and heard in order to bring about a change within both of you, because there's something here about honor and doing what's right. Because didn't they even say that? I feel very nervous. <laughs> like whomever this this is for, it's like I feel like you're nervous, but I don't really feel like there's a need to be. I feel like the distance that's been between whomever this person is, it's been happening to so you both could be or learn to be the calm in the storm, not reactive. It brings about a big change within your relationship. They're saying for all sides, whatever is, is about to be said and heard, It changes everything, but in a positive direction. So, whew, all right. They're also guiding me to get one of these love cards. So this could be in a relationship, like towards a relationship with love, like where there's love, not necessarily romantic love, but yeah, getting to know each other. See, I feel like that's what brings about the change is like it brings you to a place. It like levels the field or something like that. I I think that if if maybe somebody did you wrong, maybe you thought that they did you wrong for some reason or they were doing something else. It's like I just feel like whatever you thought was happening wasn't actually happening. And That's just what it feels like. And I feel like whatever you hear was actually happening, it might make that person feel bad for not knowing what was really happening. But I feel like there was like no communication. Something, something. This is, I do definitely feel like this is somebody you haven't heard from in a while. Yeah. Okay, so this is something to do with romance, but all right. Maybe you had romantic feelings for them in the past. Maybe things ended abruptly or just like there was silence. It just feels like silence. All right, what else? Yeah, peace. See, it's it's bringing you guys to a place of peace. It says there's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. So when the time's right, it, everything's in divine timing as I'll look on dying love. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> and Mother Earth. So stay grounded because I feel like it's going to be shocking. All right, whatever went down here and whatever you're about to hear and whatever apology you're about to receive or give um
I feel like well, I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. The love you have shared is, is eternal, regardless of the situation. All right, there you go. There's your, uh, I mean, I've been guided to bring the, these back, these daily dose of Lulu. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Just like these little these little mini readings um, every day. I'm being told to do it every day. So I love you. I'll probably be doing them around this time every day. Okay. So just look, be on the lookout for that. All right. I love you guys. And if you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. I also want to let you know that I'm going to be starting September monthlies um, tomorrow. Okay. I'll have them all. Well, tomorrow's the 31st. So they'll all be done within those first few days of September. So there you go. I'm adjusting to my new schedule. So it is what it is. <laughs> I've been tired as hell and I've had to take care of myself first because that's what you got to do. If I don't got it to give, I can't give it away. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I love you. Have an amazing night and I will see you soon. Bye guys.